Okay, uh, in today's video, I want to show you a new tool that I added over the weekend, which uh, helps you to copy complete sheets with the detail views and legend views on them mm, to um, other projects. Um, as an example, I've opened this you know template file with only one sheet in it that has a series of uh, detail views placed on it. It's got a legend here as well. And uh, you can also have a schedule or anything like that on that sheet. Um, and I want to copy this sheet. Let's say this is your template, Revit template file, and you have these standard sheets in it, and you want to, every time you start a new project or something like that, or you're working on a project and you need to import this complete she sheet um, from this template or from another project to your project. Uh, I'm going to start a new project here as a uh, sort of like a destination model. Uh, there is one important important thing that you have to remember and is that Revit API currently doesn't allow creation of legends programmatically or as far as I know at least. Uh, I haven't been able to figure out a way to create legends. So the only thing that you have to make sure is that if you are if your sheet that you're co copying contains any legends, uh, make sure that you have at least one legend in this. The way it works is that the script uh, duplicates this legend that you have, clears its contents. Well, actually, it duplicates it using the um, duplicate uh, method, not duplicate with detailing. So it basically creates a empty legend, and then renames it and sets the scale and stuff like that to match it to the legend that it's copying. Uh, so this model is as far as you know, copying goes. It's ready. It's got at least one legend in it, and we can go back to the other project. And copy this sheet. The way to do it is to go under part of it. The tool has been added to the sheet category and it's called copy selected sheets to open documents. And click on that. And it gives you to, to ask you for to select destination documents. It gives you a list of documents that are currently open. Uh, you might have more projects open here. It doesn't matter. You can select all the open projects notice that it doesn't list the current per project that you're on because uh, it doesn't make sense to copy a sheet to its own document. So select the projects, project or projects that you want this sheet to be copied to and hit OK. And it gives you a list of the sheets in this current model that you want to copy. Uh, in this model, I only have one sheet, so just click on, well, I'll click on that. You can click as many as sheets as you want and then hit Copy Sheets. And then for the last window, it asks you for the copy options. You can select to copy schedules that are placed on the sheet. You can copy the sheet title block or not. Um, this is helpful when you're you know, copying this sheet from a template to another project that has a different um, title block. It only copies and pastes the sheet contents, not the, not the title block. Um, and then copy viewports. When copying sheets, do you also want to copy all the viewports that are placed on that sheet? And this last option is very helpful when you are updating uh, a sheet that you have that basically exists in both projects. So if you have this sheet existing in another project with the same views that have you know the share names, uh, share names with the identical identical names, um, when you check this option, this script will update the content of similar viewports if you can find them in the destination model. I'll show you how, but generally what it means is that if this sheet has been copied before and then you make some adjustments to one of these details, you can copy it over again and click this and it would update, instead of recreating all the views, it would update the existing to match the new changes. I'll, I'll show you how it works. And then hit copy now and it would start copying the sheet and you can see that it, you know copying to that project one copying sheet number blah 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 and then copying updating sheet name and it you know copies each one of these views and it tells you that it's placing the copied view on the sheet and it goes through all the viewports the copy the process of copying the contents of the view uh, the sheet is really fast that's basically the first line that you saw here most of this work is copying every single one of those viewports that are placed on that sheet Okay, and it's done. It shows you a progress bar at the end. If you have like more sheets, it'd be easier to, to see the progress bar. 
and it tells you copied one sheet to one document. You could have, if you, you know, I don't know, selected five sheets or something to two documents, you would see here that it copied five sheets to, the, to two documents, and you would see another one of these entries that says, after it finished copying to project one, you would see another one of these lines that say, okay, started copying sheets to project number two or, or the other project or whatever the, the name of the project is. Okay, so let's go to the other project now, project one. Okay, see it has copied all these drafting views here. It has created a new legend because we had one legend on the sheet and the sheet lives here. And if you open it, this is the sheet in the destination model. And it looks exactly just like the other one. The only stuff that are different are, for example, the line types and things like that that share the same name because it doesn't, you know, match all the contents, uh, the content types, basically. The other important uh, point is that if you notice, all these views have a, uh, viewports have a line here. Uh, it's because when Revit wants to, when the script creates this sheet inside the destination model and creates this viewport, it uses the default viewport uh, type that belongs to that model. The nice thing about this is that whatever viewport type that you have in that project that's active and people are using will be used to place all these viewports inside inside that document. Um, I kind of intentionally did this because this helps um, project specific settings to be um, to be used for the sheet that's being copied to the project. So it kind of like, looks like everything else that's in that project instead of actually bringing new viewport types or other um, line types and stuff like that. So that's as far as it goes. Now, let's say I want to go to this project. Um, let's go to the original project. And let's say I want to go to this legend and make some changes to it. Let's say I'm just going to draft a bunch of lines over right and I want to update the other model so I'm going to use the tool again and say copy to project one okay same sheet copy sheet but then now update existing view contents and then hit copy I would go basically do the same thing and it tells you that see the view already exists on the sheet or already exists on the document so it doesn't do much work on those it doesn't have to like place the view on the sheet again because it's already been sheeted okay it's completed um, and I'll go to the project one and you see that see the color of that line is different because these between these two projects the you know the green color of the type line is slightly different so it's using the matching basically the line um, style that uh, it's used in the destination model but you see that the contents of that legend have been updated now uh, which is basically really helpful to you know update the current projects that you have with the uh, changes that you do to the template or if you have like a couple of buildings using this sh the same um, detail sheet or something like that and you make some adjustments to a couple of sheets then you can easily open the other two projects select those detail sheets and say update these sheets in the other projects as well.